Hey guys, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with a really quick post review from Diamond Art Club. And if you can probably tell, I'm a little sick right now. So we're just gonna skip over the intro this day, just this one time. We're gonna skip over the intro and we are going to talk about this um, diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. Uh, if you're new to my channel, just please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And be sure to check out my links in the description box below. And for everybody who's been back to see me several times, thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate reading the words that you guys leave me. It means a lot. So getting into this diamond painting from Diamond Art Club, this is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith, Milagros La Luna. I decided to do this diamond painting for Drills and Chills 2022. I started it on September 19th and completed it yesterday on um, October 13th. It, it is a round and it's 51 centimeters by 64 centimeters. This is like one of my favorite sizes, anywhere between a 50 and 60 centimeter, 50 by 70 centimeter. Those are really my favorite sizes of diamond paintings. I feel like for me, they're not too big, not too small, and you get all the detail that you would need for it to be a beautiful painting. So I'm just going to go over quickly the drills first, and then I'll talk about the painting. So with the drills, I use my... Uh, Elizabeth Ward. There were 56 colors and there were five ABs. I do apologize about my voice. Um, there were four bags of the 310. I could have opened this bag, but I chose not to. Um, I just got some extra 310s that I had saved that were already open and I used those. And I didn't run out of anything. As you can clearly see, I didn't run out of anything. I don't think I felt like I came close to running out of anything either. There were plenty of colors. Um, I will tell you that there was, a, there was quite a bit of trash. I never hold on to my trash gels, never. So I decided this time to hold on to them. And if you can think of it, that was what the issue was. So I'll just show you what I have in here. Like you see the sticks, they had the tabs on them, concaved bottoms, holes, things like that. Now, every last one of these, some of them were that it was one left on the canvas and I tossed in here, something like that. So 100% of this is not um, trash but I can promise you probably 97% of it is. So for this size painting, this may not be that bad. Ooh, it's not coming out. I don't think I had... Ooh, child, that don't wanna come out. I don't think I had, oh, there we go, sorry. That much of an issue with, um, what's the word I wanna use? Static? With static, I don't think I had that much of a problem, but yeah, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. So I did, have, I did save the trash drills. I did make sure I double checked and picked those out. And the next thing is, I'm not going to keep these. And the reason being, I'll probably keep the ABs, but I'm not going to keep anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and toss them in one of my jars. I'll keep this because it hasn't been open. But the rest of them, 
Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in one of my jars. That's how I save my, my drills. I don't toss them in the trash. I either keep them, bag them up, or they go in a glass jar. The painting. The painting is absolutely gorgeous. I think out of the three weeks or so that I was working on it, I worked on it every day. There may have been maybe, maybe two days that I didn't work on it. I really wasn't hardly coloring at all. Uh, my whole focus was on this. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it all the way up to my very last square, which was in here. Um, <clears throat> her hair. I just kind of got tired of the slipping and the popping of the drills and having to add the dots, uh, dot stick. That's the diamond dots adhesive, adding that to it because I had everything covered with the replacement papers. So I kind of got tired of doing that. So the last, the very last square, which was right in here was, I, I was at the point where I was tired, but I finished it last night. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Her eyes look good. She's not looking like scared. I don't like them. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't like the ones where they look scared, you know. But the flowers are beautiful. The colors are beautiful. I, I think it's gorgeous. I can't say, you know, anything else but that. I just think... It's a really nice painting. I will tell you this, and I've said this in my car vlogs, I do think they got this from the back of the shelf. And just in case nobody knows what that means, if you worked in retail, you know what I mean. So when you get new merchandise in, you're supposed to put the new merchandise behind the old merchandise. That's how it's supposed to go. New merchandise goes behind the old. So then the old stuff can get taken out first. No, honey. They must have kept putting the new, the newer canvases of this one in front. And then when they started running low and all they had was the old stuff that had been in the back forever, this is what I got. I've never had a Diamond Art Club um, diamond painting where I had to, keep, first of all, that wasn't sticky, popping drills, slipping drills, where I had to keep adding the adhesive. I've never experienced that before. And I think that's why I kind of got a little frustrated at the end, but I'm glad I finished it. I will be sealing her. I'm gonna be using this one. And this is the One Coat Gloss Top Coat. I just use some Mod Podge. Sometimes I use the regular stuff, sometimes I use this. But I'm gonna use this one on her. And um, I'll just mix it with a little bit of water, take a brush and go over it. So how I do mine, is I take my roller that I have. This literally is a Pamper Chef <laughs> pastry roller, but I took it for my diamond painting. So that's what it's used for now. It's not used for food. So I just take this, roll over it really good. I take an old, um, it's a charcoal toothbrush that came in a pack. I took one of those out. I use that, go over it really, really good. Make sure the wax and anything else I'll go over it really good to see if there's any like dog hair if I have to use tweezers do that mix this with water a nice size brush and then go over it and don't touch it I usually let it sit 24 hours before I actually come back touch it to uh, either put it up hang it up or put it in the um, portfolio so that is the plan let me know if you guys had this one honestly if I didn't have the issues with the drills and the stickiness, I probably would have given this a five out of five. But because of that, Lordy, I don't know. I'm scared to rate it. I don't want y'all coming for me in the comments. But she does look good. <laughs> she looks really, really good. And even when I came up here to start rolling it, I could tell in some sections that the drills are moving. The drills are definitely moving, I can see it. So that's okay. I'm gonna get her all situated. Um, this one probably would not get hung up, I don't think, 
So this one will just go into my portfolio. But I'll be sure to put the link in the description box if anybody's, you know, interested. Because I think I got this one when they had a big sale. It was buy one, get one half off. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's when I got that. Got this one. So it's been a while. It was this year, but it's been a while. Alrighty, guys. I can't talk anymore. I'm going to get off of here. If you guys had enough patience to listen to me fight through this video, thank you so much. Um, please leave me, I don't know, just leave me a beautiful flower emoji. She's so pretty. She's really, really pretty. In the comments section, purple or pink, thank you guys so much for watching. You all remember to stay beautiful and to stay blessed. Bye.